Well, I got a 1966 Chevy Chevelle sitting here, 283 up under the hood, power steering, power brakes, and it's chromed out. Check that out. This one also has four-wheel disc brakes on it. Got the bench seat, black interior, column shift, and let's see, dual exhaust. Yep, got the dual exhaust kicked out both sides. Be sure to check out maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on all of our inventory. And hit subscribe to see more videos. About that time, let's go for a ride. Door panel on this one looks pretty clean. Carpet's not bad. Interior looks good. Headliner's clean. Start her up. Give her a little gas. Does the blower motor work? Doesn't seem like it. Radio? Nope. Turn signals? Left side's blinking, right side blinking. Show you the mileage. Wipers? Gotta turn it off at the right time or they'll stay up. Horn? Did you place your bets? I'm gonna say it works. I haven't tried it. Oh, it doesn't work. Well, let's let her warm up a second and then we'll hit the road and see how this one runs and drives. All right, we're gonna take off down the road. I got my buddy David with me. We're gonna see what we can come up with on this one. It's the first time he's ever held the camera, but he did go buy one. He did get a DJI, didn't he? I did. Check our brakes. Not too bad. It's already getting hot. This is the first time that I have driven this Chevelle here. And of course, this is just a Malibu car. As you can see painted on the dash there. But yeah, a Chevelle is a Chevelle, a Malibu is a trim package, SS performance package. Everybody always gets that confused. They're like, that's a Malibu, not a Chevelle. No, they're all Chevelles. Let's hit the road. is definitely off there's no way i'm running 55 right now i think i'm going about 45 straight as an arrow though with tight steering now if i get into those brakes it actually stops smooth back into the throttle it did shift down so kick down is hooked up and she's just a 283 so i mean this is just a driver car but i mean she's responsive the brakes feel good tight steering I don't see it sitting around a lot very long. Should be an easy test drive too. Now our gas gauge, I do believe it's working because usually if you hit the brakes, it'll go past full and that's what it's doing. You give it gas, you can see the needle moving. So it is working. We don't have to stop and get fuel today either. Hey man, my horn's not working, man. We need you to speed up that four runner. <laughs> it's when you get a little air horn you stick it out your vent window this is for your pant leg in the summer just kick it up let the breeze kick cool you off man these brakes are kind of touchy aren't they four wheel disc shoot yeah this old saying stop on a dime signal's nice and bright on the dash there. Our clock's not working though. I mean, they got cell phones and watches for that. Just 
She feels pretty good. Now, if it was my personal car, people always ask, what would you do to it? I would add an oil pressure and a temp gauge. You can get one of them aftermarket and put it right here below the, the, the dash. And what that's gonna do is tell you the vitals of the car at any point in time. That's gonna be nice to have, especially on a nice hot summer day. Not that a 283 is gonna overheat, but protection. Hey, they always taught you. Make sure you have your protection. So you need some gauges. I'll be back. We're gonna get some outside shots and light it up underneath. What do you think? It's a nice car, dude. He's been he's been here through the whole thing. I went ahead and did the walk around here in the grass because it's nice and summery like. You know, that'd do something different. Yeah. Let's try reverse. That works. It's actually working really well. Now, when I turn the wheel, where's that? Where's that? Wow, I didn't even do it. It's been rubbing on both 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 tires the whole video. Yeah. Turn it hard. Are you serious right now? It's not not doing it now. I uh, know. How weird is that? What about this? One? It was rubbing hard. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, so and you can get past that and it won't do it. So this car had to been lowered down. Oh these wheels are too big. That's the two different scenarios we got going on here. Dang, dude. He looked like he hit that mug one too many times. All right, here we go. Woo, nice little shift.
Oh, okay. That we were trying to get into. But it stops. It start. It starts up pretty good. When you floor it, it takes all the gas. Steering nice and tight. Now our speedo is definitely off. Uh, I did notice the brake pedal has got a weak spring on it. It needs a, a better spring to pull it back. Uh, I caught it a couple times and I could smell a little bit of brake. Well, that's what it was. It was getting stuck and I lifted it with my big toe and it completely stopped. So, that's a good thing because, I mean, that's an easy fix. Turbo, turbo diesel up there is strong, isn't it? Just like now, watch. We bump it up. I mean, it just barely comes up. Bumping the road here. Give her a listen. That was actually really smooth. So it's got decent suspension on it. Sometimes, David, I'll hit it and the uh, ones that are lower hit <laughs> my head almost on the thing. And it doesn't, <laughs> that bump doesn't seem like much, does it? No. <laughs> but it is I to some cars. Good shift there. All right, guys, pulling back into the lot. Stick around, picking out the flaws is coming up next. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video, and thanks for watching. Let's walk this ride. I believe this one here is gonna be pretty easy though. Body straight, a lot of new chrome. Let's get started in the front. Looking for rust, I'm looking for chips, I'm looking for Bondo, or any kind of damage. But that's nice and new, so we're good there. You got some scrapes up here though. Headlights, bezels look good, a little overspray if anything. Grill, good shape. Coming down, a little scuff here on the edge, scuff here on the edge in the paint. That should buff out. Tires, wonderful. Coming up over the fender, a little wax left over. Down here at the bottom, looking down the lower portion of the car. She is looking straight, guys. Not too bad. She's so clean. Be a new song. My little blue, blue dream. <laughs> little spot. Nope, wiped it right off. Some more wax these guys are leaving on it. Detail guys, at least they're waxing it. But come on. We'll scuff there, Chip. Midsection. Telling you, easy one. Little spot on top that should come out as well. Oh, oh, some light scratches. Nope, more wax. See, come right off. Cracks there around the antenna. Front windshield looks good. Trim's nice and clean. Seal around your vent window, also good. Most of the time, these are all cracked up. Little, little crack there. Mirror's been replaced. Tops of the door handles. Just wax, that's all. Where's Mr. Miyagi when you need him? Yeah, he'll come wax it off. Looking at the back window. Trim looks good. I don't know what that is. Just flick it off. Up over the roof. Good. Trunk. Oh, it's wet. It got wet. Smells like new spatter paint too, so somebody spatter painted this trunk and of course the water got in it, so now it's mixed with water. But I'm gonna say it's probably coming from this gap right here that's missing the weather stripping. At least bring that around and put it right here because the water's gonna get in every time coming down off that package tray right into the uh, rail here. Looking up in our package tray, it's actually really clean. Crack there, jams look good. Uh, trunk lid itself, check your edges. Solid. Guys, if you see something in this video that you want me to go over in detail, just give us a call. 
We'll come back out, FaceTime it, whatever we got to do. Well, can't shut it soft. New rear bumper on this one, chip right here in the corner. Tail lights look good. Coming down this side. Little wax right over around the trim on the edge. You can see it still. Come on. With the wax guys, you know what I'm thinking about. Little scuff there. Cracking the paint here. It doesn't look wavy, it just looks like a crack in the paint. Up and over. More wax. David, you gotta tell the detail guys how much wax I found. That's the easy part. Getting it back off. Come on. Can they go back there and wear them out? <laughs> no. But I'll do it. This is a little bump right here. You wouldn't ever even notice, but it's got wax in it. I'm coming down this side. Little spot here. You probably would never notice. It's got wax in it. Little scuffs there. No, wait. That's wax. <laughs> I'm getting confused, I swear, because I'm like, oh, it might be a scratch here. That one actually is. That right there. I think it's a, no, it's starting to come off. It's wax. That one looks good. Wax in the corners. Cracks there. Bubble on the paint, it's been touched up. cracks in your drip rail. Up top, down your pillar. Bubbles up here in front of your front window. There's some rust right there. I'll tell you what, we found a few things, but to be a 1966 model, it's in really good shape. You know, it's gonna have some things, especially Little cracks in the paint, maybe a little bubbles popping up in your drip rails, the most common areas here. But your roof is in good shape. Actually, I see a little bit of oxidation over there. With all that wax, you should have hit the roof a little bit better there. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and check out the interior and we'll get her started up, listen to the motor, and get out of here. Door panel on this one, she's pretty clean. Underside of the door, got some cracks right here in the edge. The underside of the door looks good and your jams look good. Replaced out some of the trim. Carpet looks nice. It's in good shape. Pedals, good. Kick panels, nice. Seats, solid. Somebody has taken care of this one, or at least had it redone. Back seat. In the back seat of my car. You know what I've been thinking. Pretty good. Package tray. Bubbling up. It's kind of pushing up on this side, ain't it? Yeah. Headliner. A little loose in the corners. Now, if it's a mechanic's headliner, which I'm going to say it is, you did a good job. It's pretty tight. Most of the time you got to send it out to an upholstery guy. You're still going to have to send it out to an upholstery guy to get the corners tight. But hey, not a bad job. I'd almost leave it. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I love the dash. It's nice and clean. What's in the glove box? It's a book. The owner's manual. There's also a ruler in there. So you can measure stuff. Start it up. This does start up pretty good. Idle's a little bit choppy. Motor 
motor. That's what that is. It cuts on the blower motor. Remember at the beginning I said the blower motor was out? No, it's right there. I've never seen it on a switch like that. Okay. It's hot, so I turned it back off. I think it's dragging a little bit. I'm gonna have to tune out that carburetor. It may have a little ethanol in it. I don't know. It seems to be running good down the road. At idle, a little bit of a cough there. Pretty simple under the hood here. No electric fans. Not a lot of stuff in your way. Heater core is hooked up. Should have heat, which felt pretty hot coming out of there. You can easily access the plug. Need a battery strap or something catastrophic happens. That's the first thing I do when I go back. That and tell the wax, tell the wax for, for the guys to get all the wax off the car here. Coming on down, looks like new insulation. Bubbles right here on the edge. Lines up well, bubble here. Some more wax. It's coming off, but I'm telling you. Guffs. Guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. We're heading back to the lot. It's time to go home. Check out maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on all of our cars and update every single Monday with new inventory. All right. See y'all later. Hey, thanks, David. Yeah, dude.